Hey there friends, how's it going? Have you ever wondered could you survive the zombie apocalypse using only cutlery? Probably not, but that's why I'm here, to answer the questions you never had. So these are my traits. Uh, I'm a chef who is illiterate, is always thirsty, restless sleeper, slow learner, agoraphobic smoker, a cook, inconspicuous, adrenaline junkie, hunter, and strong. You see, I picked stuff like agoraphobic that'll panic him when he's outdoors, and then adrenaline junkie where he moves faster when highly panicked. His surname is Small, I'm just gonna call him Spoon Small. I know that doesn't make grammatical sense, but he's illiterate, so who cares? Oh, we figured out why he's illiterate. He got electrocuted at some point. Look at that hairstyle. I'm gonna put the gravy mix in the oven and just feckin' turn it on and get out of here. All right, I'll burn down my workplace to the ground. You know, I think we all want to do that at one time or another, which is unfortunate for me because I work from home. Is this the, the thing I got a key for? <gasps> it is. Oh God, this is too fast, too fast. <laughs> it's too fast and I'm getting furious. Oh shit, okay, just a minor collision, that's fine. Just a second minor collision, that is also fine. Okay, gonna leave the car there and go look for some cutlery. I got my garbage bag, I wanna fill it with spoons. Open window, huh? You know what I see that as? A window of opportunity. Uh, those books aren't useful. I need spooning for beginners. <gasps> a spoon! Okay, that's my new weapon. I would prefer to fork or maybe even a butter knife, but a spoon will do. All right, get back, vile beast. <laughs> Imagine you just see this lunatic with a spoon killing some- It's broken. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Wait, a fresh- Freshly cooked steak? All right, eat that. <laughs> I just found it in here. There's still probably someone living here, like the radio's still on and everything. They'll come home to this guy just eating their dinner. I don't want them to starve though, so I'll put this uh, dead mouse fresh uncooked and then I'll turn on the oven. I think you cook mice at 300 degrees for 120 minutes. If only there was like a spoon store or something nearby, that would be excellent. Oh Jesus Christ, oh God, oh God, no, no, don't bite me. Oof, I'm just eating all the food I come in contact with. Oh, Jesus. I really wish I had a weapon to deal with you guys a little more efficiently. Like, why is there no cutlery around? Why Why is everyone taking it with them, you know? You're abandoning your house because the zombie apocalypse. You're like, honey, get the photo albums and the cutlery. Oh, God, it's the police. Get away from me. Now I am the police. <laughs> I am in charge. And what's important is we work hard and we play hard. <laughs> He's wearing this under his police outfit. Kitchen knife. Now we're talking. Yes, a spoon <laughs> attached to belt right. I imagine him with like a police holster, but just cutlery all over it. Discount Batman. <gasps> the mother load. A fork and a spoon. Okay, I'm getting a little bit concerned now. <laughs> there seems to be a lot of zombies outside. <gasps> Bread knife. <laughs> ah, ah, hold on. <laughs> Damn it. I would have been so cool. A policeman that drives a fire truck and is an expert in short range combat with cutlery. <laughs> Very specific. <laughs> okay, I think it's time we settle down in a house. Oh god, one's following me. And stomp. Or hit with fork. Yeah, that's fine too. Yeah, fork him in the ass. That'll do it. God damn it. This cutlery breaks so easily. That is a lot of medical equipment. Something tells me I'll be needing those antidepressants. Oh, <gasps> a dance magazine. Kick step. Oh, I can't read it. I just realized I'm illiterate. I can't learn the dance. Surely I could figure it out with the pictures and whatnot. That's one of two mods I have on. I just have dance magazines on the map so you can learn cool dances. Oh, Jesus Christ. It seems like it's a little bit too high demand for property around here though. Oh my god, they're everywhere. Okay, finally, this area doesn't seem too bad. This house looks doable. Okay, let's try and take out this zombie. Okay, it's getting a little bit overwhelming still. <laughs> Don't make me take out the spoon. <laughs> oh Jesus, there's more. Oh god damn, dude, there's so many zombies. What is this? Some sort of zombie apocalypse? <laughs> I seem to be so shocked. <laughs> What? What kind of an attack was that? <laughs> I swear the spoon is his best weapon. Let's swap to the spoon. All right, I'm ready for you. Die. Oh, tch, spoon's broken. But I mean, they're on the ground and then I can kill them. Yeah, they're dead. Great. No, they're not dead. Well, they are dead because they're zombies, but they're not gone. All right, I think it's time to try to get into the other house again. I'm sure. Th no, this won't be fine. Okay, this area looks nice. How about this? Just attempting to close all the curtains and stay hidden because the neighborhood seems busy. <gasps> Another spoon. Got lots of food in here as well. And since I found medical supplies, we're off to it decent little start. You know, other than the fact my guy's obsessed with cutlery. Oh, he's anxious too. I forgot he was a smoker as well. I need to get him some smokes. Probably best we just take it easy for the night though. 
Uh oh. Oh no, there's a zombie. Um, oh, where's my holster spoon? I must have broken it. Don't worry. I got plenty more. I'm ready for you. Come on in. Wait, where is it? Oh, it's going into that. Why? <laughs> you can't even see. The curtain's closed. I want to spoon you right in the back. <gasps> a lighter. Great. Now I just need cigarettes. <laughs> I can finally calm down a bit. All right, let's get some sleep, shall we? I get the top bunk. <laughs> I immediately woke up. Why? I'm t terrified. <laughs> Why? <laughs> of the dark? Like I'm sleeping with a spoon under my pillow. I'm ready for anything. Did I find any sleeping tablets? I did. <laughs> <laughs> Take pills. There we go. Now you can sleep, can't you? God, he woke up terrified again. Mm, another one won't hurt, will it? Sleep. Okay, spoon at the ready. I'm heading out. I need to find more cutlery, and I need some curtains or a sheet for that window. Yeah, that's right. Spoon them. Spoon them good. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Too many people want spoons. I'm out of here. <laughs> so many zombies, so few spoons. <laughs> there we go. Any more spoons? I think I might run back and try and get my vehicle. Oh, um, that's one of the houses I left the oven on in. Yeah, something tells me I'm not as good of a chef as I thought I was. Oh, Jesus Christ. You almost got a bite of me. And you didn't even use cutlery. You animal. I'm wondering, can I lead them into this building just to burn a lot of them? You know, spoons and forks are great and all, but when it comes to hordes, they're a little bit difficult. Oh, there, there's some going in anyway. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's zombies in there. This one's on fire. Okay, I'm out. There's my vehicle. All right, in you get. And let's get to somewhere where I can get some loot. Unfortunately, I'll have to store all my stuff in the car seat or something because I forgot to leave my stuff. That's a fender bender. That's fine. I don't even need to leave my insurance information. They won't notice it. Oh, hit someone's mailbox. I'm not a very good driver, am I? Oh, there's lots of zombies. All right, co come here, zombies. Follow the car. Follow the pretty car. Come on. Is my, my windshield is gone, I think. Oh, my God. There's so many. Okay, okay. All right. I think I've got a decent horde. Let me... I know this sounds stupid, but let me get out. <laughs> and now follow me. Hey, you. Hey, you. Come on over here. Oh, my God. There's so many. No, leave my car alone. What are you doing? <laughs> the car did nothing wrong. Oh, they're swarming the feckin' car. <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm going to run into the woods now. God, the bread knife is absolutely useless. Like, you'd think it would be better. I was even thinking to myself, should I allow myself use this? But it's pointless. <laughs> I think the problem is these are zombies and not bread. Now, if this was a bread apocalypse, I'd be fine. Oh, finally, you're dead. Jesus. I can repair my kitchen knife with some duct tape. Oh, feck you. <laughs> Trying to scare me. Honestly, I think it's just knives. Like, I kill them way faster with spoons than I do with the knives, and I don't understand why. Maybe he was a soup chef, and that's just what he's used to. It's like, oh, I'm a soup chef. I I'm sorry, did you mean sous chef? No, no, soup chef. Oh, nope. <laughs> just walks in and walks straight out. All right, I've called them all over, and now my plan is to just hop the fence and confuse them. Oh, soup? A good soup chef never turns down soup. Let me just remove this broken glass with my hands. <laughs> Okay, that works, I guess. <laughs> I just pushed her into the bathroom and closed the door. Cigarettes, excellent. I hope you don't mind me smoking indoors. Well, something tells me you mind that less than me pushing you in the bathroom and then locking the door. Oh, you're too full to eat. Okay, just throw in an onion then. Hopefully they don't like onion. I just want to ruin their meal one way or another. Goodbye, I hope you get out of the bathroom one day. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, feckin' hell, that could've went badly. The only thing zombies like more than humans is doors and windows. Like, they have no interest in me because they just want to smash that glass. And these, on the other hand, are very interested in me. Oh, God, I just realized I should not be doing this. I am very, very tired. I can barely walk, and I'm leading a zombie horde into the woods. Great. Maybe I can eat some vitamins? I've already downed two bottles of these bad boys. But they're Flintstone gummies. How can I resist? Oh, sweet Jesus. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Get off of me. I don't have my cutlery at the ready. <laughs> please be open. Please be open. Please be open. It is open. Okay, please close. Please close. There we go. Oh, Jesus. They're in already. Feckin' hell. They are thrashing on that door trying to get through. <gasps> Arcade get- No, no, I shouldn't. I shouldn't. I shouldn't. <laughs> don't have time for this. Why the hell are they obsessed with the car? <laughs> like, I get it. It's nice, but there's not much they can do with it. Like, they can't drive it. They can't eat it. All right, I'm just gonna have to risk it. The car is in decent shape. It should start pretty quick. All right, get in. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I just kind of shunted them and popped it in reverse. Let's go. This might be the fastest car I've ever had in this game. It's ridiculously quick. It's probably not going to stay that way if I keep mowing down zombies like that. Or hitting fences like that. Okay, that was the home I was using. Let me just park the car out here somewhere away from the house. Since zombies seem to be obsessed with this thing. Oh, thank God I got that open. <laughs> he just walks in on top of his bed. Why wasn't I using this bed instead of sleeping on the bunk beds? 
Oh shit, what was that? Is that in my house? Have a smoke, because things might be about to get dicey. All right, I got a plan to get them off of me. Wait, is that bourbon? Oh, it is. Okay, my plan just improved. God, shit, shit, shit. Stupid bread knives are absolutely useless for combat. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Whoo, that was too close. Ah, my little leggies. Okay, I'm gonna have to rip up my pants. It pains me to do this, but I have to do it. Make Molotov cocktail. Oh Jesus, they're almost in. Equip secondary. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. Okay, burn zombies. Ah, oh God, I wish I had pants. Oh Jesus Christ. Aha, you'll never catch me. Oh god, you caught me. All right, I was wrong. I, I stand corrected. I'm bitten. Oh shit. Okay, a bite is a death sentence. Oh, now they're all over my house. God damn it. Look at them just standing over there on fire. What do you mean I don't have the key? <gasps> I must have left it in my house. Oh no, I'm screwed. Okay, I'm back in the medical center and I guess I'll just try and get some sleep in here. By Christ, look at all those status updates. They're just all over the place. Fantastic. My last meal is going to be mustard. Yeah, just eat all of the mustard. First aid for beginners, so that would be useful about an hour ago. Great. There are zombies at the door. <laughs> He's had such a rough life. I don't suppose that's just a doctor coming to save me like I am in the medical center. I'm here to talk to you about bladder control. That is not really the issue I'm having right now. Like, that would also help, but it's not my primary concern. There's people at the door. Th oh, sweet Jesus! Okay, yes, there's people at the door. All right, well, this is it. I gotta jump from a second story window. Ah! Okay, I fell inside somehow. It's a shame this guy can only use cutlery, because he's honestly like an action hero. Okay, if there was ever a time for those antidepressants, it's now. There's feckin' zombies at the door. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Did I say at the door? I meant in my house. I'm in with the zombies. They're right there. Oh, Jesus. They're right behind me, too. I just wanted my car key. <laughs> right, remove broken glass with your hands once again. Let's get that car key. We're getting out of here. There we go. Got my key. Run. See ya. You can have the house. It's all yours. Sorry I had to take the cutlery, but it seems like everyone does that for some reason in this world. What do you mean I don't have the key? I just feckin' got it. What, is this for a different Masterson Horizon? There's two? <laughs> oh, I gotta go back in. What? What was that animation? <laughs> How did that even happen? Okay, I gotta go. I gotta go. Get out of my way. This is my car. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I'm out of here. Painkillers. Yes, take. Oh, that's another house that I burned down. Jesus Christ, I've caused a lot of damage. Maybe this whole situation is just a good old-fashioned example of karma. All right, turn on the oven settings. Uh, yep, yeah, that's fine. Yep, yeah, crank that up. And I just put everything into it. Great. Oh, I forgot I was wearing this. Get off. No. Oh, he's dead. He went through so much. And look at those savages eating me. They won't even use a knife and fork. Well, that's the story of Little Spoon. So we will end it there. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, consider subscribing. Would love a like or a comment if you got the time. Uh, it helps me out a lot. Uh, but other than that, I hope to see you next time. Bye for now.